<laughs> what the hell is going on? I still haven't quite processed the fact that I'm moving to uni in like a week. And that is shown by the fact I literally haven't done anything to prepare for it yet. So that's what this video is for. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. What the hell am I even doing in my life at this point? I don't know. If you've been keeping up with me, you know that I'm going to London to study fashion design, which is crazy. Didn't really plan for this to happen. It just kind of happened. Do I tell this story? I think I should because it just kind of encapsulates the craziness that is my brain. So after sixth form, I'd applied to study biology at the University of Bath. Then I decided to take a gap year to like work on my mental health. I'd just been put on new meds. I wasn't quite at a point physically where I was able to look after myself. So I was like, you know what? We'll just take a year out, work on myself, self-improvement, all of that. Ugh. That didn't like go to plan entirely. So a few days before the UCAS deadline this year, I had what I now know to be a hypermanic episode where the day before the deadline just applied to like a bunch of random fashion schools, right? Mm. With no backup plan, bearing mind I hadn't done A-level art, I'd got a four in art GCSE and I hadn't studied a foundation year because all my levels were science. Are you following along here with what my hypermanic brain thought was an amazing idea? That meant I had a week to do a whole fashion portfolio. Bearing in mind, I have never done one before and these portfolios usually take about six months to make. Again, amazing idea. I then proceeded to do this portfolio in the space of a week with no sleep riding that like wave of energy that I just had and then proceeded to just like crash afterwards and like have major panic attacks that I had just messed up my entire life because there was no way in hell I get into these unis without any art and I've just lost my place at like a pretty decent university especially for science. So I literally thought I was screwed but thankfully to some like higher power it worked out which usually if anyone who suffers with these episodes knows you know they don't really work out and those like random ideas you have never really come into fruition but mine it somehow did and you know what i'm so grateful for that but jesus christ was i bricking it until i realized i got in so i can't do a whole like how i prepared for fashion school how i did my portfolio because i don't encourage anyone to have a mental health episode so here I am, a week before I have to leave, and I have nothing ready. So we need to go do that because that's kind of important considering I move out in a week. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. So to start off this beautiful uni moving out journey of mine, we're gonna have to do the obligatory UK uni student IKEA trip. So that's what I'm gonna do today once I get dressed. Let's go. Gotta get it for the vlog. Oh. They have dinosaurs! Look at this! <laughs> when in art school, I am an artiste. What do you think of the mousse pasta? Oh, I mean, it's a must have. But these are much more your speed in terms of cutlery. I actually hate you. Taking a bite out of the spoon. <laughs> munching on the spoon. <laughs> it's not looking good. Oh my god. Are you looking for a discount today? Please. Oh, All my art supplies are here. Can you imagine if I rock up to UAL with just like neon paint? <laughs> From Ikea. <laughs> From Ikea. <laughs> Hello, it is a few days later and I'm doing what is arguably the most important part of my uni move-in process. And no, it's not buying like bedding and school supplies and art supplies and kitchenware like I've done all that. It is getting my roots done because I refuse to go to uni with two inches of my natural hair colour coming through. No, we gotta make a good first impression because if I'm here with like a strip in my hair, that's not gonna cut it. That's not gonna cut it. So today I'm gonna spend an awful amount of money to go get my hair bleached. If you know, keeping up platinum blonde is hard work. And yes, I am one of those kids that like were like super blonde growing up and then they like hit puberty and their hair went like brown and now they're having like an identity crisis. I was like in denial for like a good three years because people would be like, oh no, your hair's like light brown. I'm like, no, it's blonde. And they were right, of course, but I was in denial. With that being said, let's go get my hair done. I'm probably not gonna be able to film in there though because I hate filming in front of people, which I'm gonna have to get over if I'm living in a flat with six other people. I'm terrified. Yo, I'm back. Beautiful, right. So, I got my hair done. Are you ready for the reveal? Boom, it's all gone. We went for shorter just because it was very dead at the ends by the end of the bleaching, but blended roots. I'm very happy with how it turned out. So what we're gonna do today is start packing my insane amount of clothes. So this is gonna be a little wardrobe sort out slash 
packing because I actually do not think it would fit in my uni accommodation. It's definitely not the next day and I definitely didn't procrastinate packing all of my clothes by playing Minecraft. Nope. Yeah, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen so I can continue with the video. Okay, I think the jelly cut collection is gonna have to move. <gasps> Sorry, obviously they're coming with me as well, just putting out there. I have a lot of clothes, so we need to get these into some bags. So I have got these lovely big bags from Ikea. I do have three of them, yes, three. Like, it's fashion school. You've gotta have good clothes at fashion school because if you don't, that's like kind of embarrassing so i think we're gonna start with packing like my bottoms in here hopefully they'll all go in one bag not sure but fingers crossed a girl can hope my best tip i've gone so far is to like not bring your summer clothes yet so i'm probably only gonna bring my favorite pair of shorts you know like just in case it's extra hot one day you know with climate change and everything i was debating whether or not to like roll or fold my clothes and i'm gonna go with fold just because the bag is square do you get the vision i feel i feel like i'm just like waffling here gonna be bringing this denim skirt as we know denim maxi skirts are so in at the moment obviously gotta bring these i don't know how many pairs of jeans i want to bring oh my god i'm actually not gonna have enough room there's a lot of fabric going on here this is already getting like really full another pair of cargoes surprise surprise these are my pride and joy look at the embroidery mm. They're so lovely, so again, coming with me. Gotta bring my little Burberry skirt moment, you know? You know what, I'm gonna speed run the rest of my bottoms because I feel like this is actually gonna take forever. So I will see you once that is done. I think you know you have a clothing problem when you bring more pairs of trousers than you do underwear. But that's just me. This isn't actually full. We do have a lot of room here, so I am gonna get started on the tops. We're just gonna start like, shoving them in i have a lot of tops like this that are like long and meshy and i honestly cannot be bothered to fold them they're just all going in there <sighs> these are all my baby tees and like long sleeves am i bringing too much maybe probably and then these are all my t-shirts that i'm gonna bring okay that's not gonna work hold on oh we could totally cram more in here a little bit of athleisure not that i work out ever my thinking pattern is if i bring more gym clothes like i'll end up going to the gym you know this is me editing three four months later i still haven't been to the gym um or maybe i won't so much for bringing a capsule wardrobe jesus <laughs> I'm actually gonna dislocate my shoulder. Oh my God. See, I thought it was a good idea, like packing everything into one bag, but I'm now starting to think maybe it wasn't because this is too, ha I can just get my dad to carry it. <laughs> well, that's bag number one done. Let's move on to my hoodies and jackets. Why does this bag look smaller? Hold on. No, this bag isn't smaller. I'm just delusional. By this point, I think you're pretty much sick of me just talking through all my clothing. So again, we're just going to time lapse this and I'm going to try and cram everything in this little bag. Oh God, I'm so tired. Like, I didn't think packing my clothes up would be like mentally draining, but Jesus Christ, it is. I need a nap. <laughs> So today is move-in day. And the reason why I'm not being as energetic is because I'm so goddamn nervous. I didn't think I'd be going this year, but I am. I'm a little bit terrified, can't lie. It's just kind of crazy to think about. Like, I feel like a completely different person to where I was last year. I mean, like, as I said at the start of the video, I went from being like quite sick and not even really being able to go to uni. And now I'm literally going today. I still don't really believe it's happening, but like, I'm literally gonna go in like half an hour. So that's a bit, like, come on. I feel like when it does hit me though, it's gonna hit me like a bus. This is really happening, guys. I did it, I'm going. I'm going to London College Fashion to do fashion design when I was like gonna do science a year ago. I'm literally, I feel like a whole new person. I feel like a completely different person. This is so weird. Am I like literally having a mini existential crisis before I head off to uni? Probably. <laughs> this whole channel's had a lot of memories in this bedroom. Many a room makeover. I don't know, but I watch back my old videos and I literally don't recognize me as a person. Oh my God, I'm literally having an existential crisis. Right, Um, we need to load the car. That's that's the thing that we need to do. I'm gonna focus on that um, so I don't spiral. I'm here. My stuff is everywhere. 
I'm probably going to just put everything out over the next few hours and then I have to show you all when it's done. Hello. I'm sorry for ghosting you for like a few months. They weren't lying when they said art school is like survival of the fittest because Jesus Christ. I believe I'm now just like 70% caffeine and then 30% sleep deprived. That's, that is it. Worst part is I'm also still yet to find somewhere near me that does like decent iced coffee. So I get like a double espresso from the coffee place and then just put my own milk and ice in it. My room is done. The lighting situation is also now decent because that was a big issue. My room would literally be pitch black and I realized that was because of the privacy film that was on my window. Now I have no privacy, but I also have decent lighting. So it's like, oh, but anyway, I've made my room like such a nice little haven. It's quite nice in here. So yeah, I'll give you like a quick little tour and a little update. And then finally I can upload this sodding video that's been months in the making okay so it's super dark back here but this is like my makeshift wardrobe situation oh my god my nails ew um and then here's my actual wardrobe which is a mess we're not gonna look in there but here's the start of the actual nice bit i put some like cool vintage streetwear posters on my pin boards and of course my clothing rail with just kind of my jackets on this was actually such a decent size for the room as well all my shoes i have too many goddamn shoes that i've bought with me to uni but i'm a fashion student i, ca I can't help it I, I needed a lot of clothes genuinely shocked that like this is accommodation for like art and fashion people, right? No wardrobe space, like literally no wardrobe space. It blows my mind, it's ridiculous. Then of course all my yarn and I got a new plant because my other one died in transit. Um, and then over here is just all of my art supplies, little Lego succulents that were a little moving gift for me. And then up here, like my fashion and therapy books which so is just, just gonna ignore the therapy and then of course my bed with all of my jelly cats i think i have a slight addiction and also this little crochet miffy but look we match isn't this like the cutest thing i swear to god i'm an adult i was literally gonna buy a miffy rug like i need i need to stop yeah this is my little uni safe haven i have mostly everything i need for my fashion cause in this room apart from a mannequin i'm gonna pull up a chair because i'm gonna have like a proper little talk with you it's generally so weird this is my life now like my brain literally can barely comprehend it just from the year that i've had there's this trend going around on tiktok right now that's like genuinely me asking what happened this year me just being like uh, ooh. I feel like I've grown loads in like my personal life behind the scenes this year. I did mention really briefly on my community post that I kind of went through it from about January to May. Just a really nasty, nasty situation. But I'm thankfully out of that now. And I honestly, without that experience, I don't think I'd be studying at LCF right now. But yeah, I think it just feels really surreal actually being here right now. I don't feel like the last year has been like real, genuinely. It just feels like some bad fever nightmare, not a dream, nightmare. And I just want to thank you for like being on this journey with me, go from just making little like crochet videos in my room to actually like studying fashion design. What the hell? Speaking of which, there will be more crochet videos soon, I promise. As soon as I am home and not at uni and not literally getting three hours sleep a night. As much as I love crochet, God, it takes so long. God, it takes so long. Thank you so much for sticking around. Now to the boring stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. It will hopefully be sooner rather than later. We don't know at this point. Who knows? Who knows? Bye.